In a time where players now more than ever are wanting to express their creativity and individuality, custom products are quickly becoming the norm. Now with that said, Metamats is a company claiming to offer a product like no other. A high quality, completely customizable cloth playmat. Well, does it live up to the hype? Let's find out together. What's going on guys, it's Simo. So I was fortunate enough to receive a few samples of Meta Mats custom play mats. And I'm very grateful for this because not only do I get to provide an objective review of Meta Mats product, but I also get to have the opportunity to get two of these play mats in the hands of two lucky subscribers. So stick around till the end of the video for all the details of that giveaway. And before we get into the review, I cannot stress to you guys enough that this is not a paid promotion. Metamats is not paying me or compensating me in any way, shape, or form to sway my review one way or another. All the contents of this review are my own because I want to make sure I provide you guys with the most accurate and objective review of their product so you guys can form your own opinion as to whether or not you want to buy a Metamat of your very own. So no further delays, let's get right into it. Metamats is a young company attempting to set a new standard when it comes to cloth playmats. While it isn't uncommon to see someone commission custom artwork on their rubber playmat or draw on their cloth mat, there are very few companies offering fully customizable mats. Of those few companies, most of them only offer custom rubber mats since the process is relatively simple and rather easy to replicate. Metamats takes it one step further by being the only company to offer fully customizable cloth playmats. But what exactly does that mean? By customizable, Metamats is referring to the artwork on the mat itself. Metamats is capable of taking any design and printing it on one of their cloth playmats. From a simple image to a massively complex pattern, Metamats is capable of doing it all. Metamats claims that they use a much different process from their competitors to differentiate themselves from the more established brands. By burning the ink directly into the fabric, combined with the level of high quality fabric that they've selected, Metamats has achieved the appearance of a custom playmat with a genuinely smooth feel when your hand brushes across the mat. On top of all this, Metamats is attempting to disrupt the premium mat market by offering these custom mats for a price competitive with, or even sometimes below the prices offered by their competitors. It's definitely a high bar to set. Now as you're hearing me tell you all of this, it sounds a little bit too good to be true, right? It's a high quality fabric playmat that's completely customizable, and not only is it on par with the competition, but sometimes even cheaper than their competitors. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. I want to begin by discussing the aesthetic aspects of this mat, and then moving on to functionality and playability. Metamats was generous enough to send me two of their mats, a one player mat and a two player mat. I asked Metamats to come up with custom designs with very little guidance, just to see what they would come up with. The designs were simple, but enough to allow me to thoroughly review their product. I'll admit I was a bit skeptical about how this whole new process of burning the ink directly into the mat would appear, but I was pleasantly surprised. I provided Metamats with a PNG of one of the images I wanted them to use, and it came out better than I had expected. The images and the text on both mats came out rather well. I believe that as long as Metamats uses high quality images or vectors in their printing process, that when they're translated to the mat, they should always come out as you would expect. It's also worth mentioning that Metamats will also assist in cutting out, editing, or photoshopping any images you may want added to your mat, which is definitely a plus, especially if you don't have any experience in the editing field. Even if I vigorously rub the mat where the images are located, you notice how the ink stays set. There's no residue or anything coming off the inked part of the playmat. Now, how do these mats feel? The high quality fabric that Metamats uses is no joke. This is one of the softest, fluffiest, most plush feeling mats I've ever laid my hands on. And I've used a lot of different kinds of mats in the past. In previous reviews, I've expressed how much I have an affinity for mats that use this quality of fabric, and I feel that Metamats hit it right on the spot. Now remember that Metamats sent me a one player mat as well as a two player mat. I feel that these mats deserve completely different ratings because between the two mats, the feel is completely different. 
Now don't get me wrong, the material is the same, but let me explain. Metamats offers the one player custom playmat for $45 and the two player custom playmat for $70. Now the thing is, most players who purchase premium mats from other brands are purchasing two player mats, but are using it as a one player mat by folding it in half and playing on it in that way. This is kind of a norm in the premium mat market. However, if we're evaluating these mats based on how they would be commonly used, it actually makes a substantial difference. The slide feel on the one player meta mat is good, probably one of the better feeling one player mats on the market because of the high quality material, but when it comes to the two player meta mat, if you're folding it in half to be used as a one player mat like most players often do, because you have that extra material underneath, it actually creates the perfect surface for sliding cards and fanning out the graveyard. I'm not exaggerating when I say this might be one of my most favorite slide feels I've ever experienced. My cards slide almost perfectly across the mat with ease every single time. Now one flaw that cannot be overlooked is the back side of these mats. When you first receive your meta mat, you'll notice how the back of the mat is actually stuck, almost glued together. And when you can finally manage to grip a corner of the mat, when you start pulling, it makes this sound almost as if it's about to rip. The noise isn't really that big of an issue, but what is problematic is that there's some sort of sticky residue on the back side of this mat, and if you place this mat on any surface the first time getting it, the mat will not only stick to that surface, but when you manage to pull the mat up from that surface, it will leave a sticky residue behind that you'll have to wash a couple of times before it's actually completely removed. This issue is especially notable with the one player mat because with the two player mat, if you're folding it in half like most players often do, the fuzzy fabric is touching the surface rather than the back of the mat itself. But with the one player mat, you can't expect to fold a one player mat in half to play on it, so you don't really have a choice other than to use it until the residue eventually wears off, and that's not fun for anyone. Metamats mentioned to me that this is common with their mats because of the process the mats undergo, and after some use, the residue will eventually go away. But I find it to be a rather troublesome issue, especially for those interested in the one player mat specifically. Those purchasing the two player mat can probably get away with this never being an issue, but even then, that doesn't mean it's an issue that can be overlooked. One other issue is that due to their printing process, metamats cannot print on black fabric. This isn't a major issue, but if you're looking for a customized mat on black fabric, then this is not the mat for you. So that was my analysis of Metamats playmats, but I feel it's important that when reviewing a product to get multiple perspectives because different people have different likes and dislikes, and I feel it's important to get multiple perspectives on a single product. So let's hear what some other people have to say about Metamats playmats. It's a nice design. The issue with the mat is like it kind of like when you slide the cards, it kind of catches it, so it kind of moves with you. But aside from that, the mat's ridiculously soft. I could see like myself playing on this mat, like sliding shit everywhere. It works. <laughs> I mean, it works. It's a nice design and everything. I think it's cool that they can burn anything into it. That shit's burnt. <laughs> that shit's burnt. There's no way that's burned. I mean, it's a good mat. It's a little softer than a spell ground. It doesn't slide as well, but I don't know. I'd probably use it over a spell ground, honestly. Just because it's soft. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. The, uh, the cards go easy over the mat. Quality is really nice. Uh, none of the picture is blurred. It doesn't look like uh, somebody made it in the garage. I'm surprised by that too. Like the image quality is really good. The image quality is very, very nice. It doesn't look like it's gonna fade anytime soon. Everything moves over it so easily. Uh, this is definitely a quality mat. I, I, I would pay for this. I would pay for this. This is the coolest thing ever. Because <laughs> it's hilarious. And I think that's like officially a catchphrase now. Because I've heard people say it. I say it now. Just out of habit. So that's cool that it's like customized. But um, after feeling in a while it kind of sticks with the cards like these are players choice um, I, I mean it's still okay but but it, it's a little sticky like not not like glue but it doesn't it doesn't slide as nicely as it just like catches yeah it kind of catches like it I, I don't know how to explain it. you have to feel it but I mean it's still nice of course but it, it's got I think it's too fluffy 
just the material is too fluffy. I like this one. It's way smooth, super smooth, <laughs> super, super great, super. Um, I love tributing over things, so obviously I'm going to throw if down. If you Stormforge Gauntlet Seal, I swear to God. But this mat is awesome. You guys should definitely... Um, if you if you're if you're able to pick this one up, I would recommend this one definitely for sure. Like it's cool that the image is like burned in there, so it's That's not. Burned? It's burned. It's burned. <laughs> it's cool that it's like burned in there. That way you don't like catch your cards on it. It doesn't peel off and every, everything. But like I said in the last mat review that we did, it's just like the material feels like my grandma's couch. I like. Does your grandmother have? It's it feels the same. It's like I prefer the older mats that have more of a like texture to them. It feels just smoother. Overall, I really love what Meta Mats is doing here. I love that I can get a high quality fabric play mat for a price equal to or sometimes cheaper than the competition. MetaMats told me that they were trying to create a space in the market so that casual players can afford a more premium luxury item without having to pay the exorbitant prices of some of its competing brands because of the secondary market that these products seem to create. And because MetaMats is completely customizable and they don't release a series run and can print as many of these as they want, they can afford to keep the prices at a competitive or even lower rate. And I really feel that that does a service to a good majority of the players who want something that's customizable and also high quality. If I had to rate these mats, I'd probably rate the one player mat four O's out of eight, and I'd probably give the two player mat six O's out of eight. Now, I would probably give each of these an additional O on my rating scale if it wasn't for the residue sticky issue on the back, but ultimately this is something that MetaMats could fix with time, and if that's the case, if you can overlook that little minor drawback, these are some of the best playmats you can possibly get on the market. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure if you want to enter the giveaway to win either one of these meta mats to so check out the Gleam link in the description below. There's multiple ways to enter and I wish you guys the best of luck. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video as always. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you found this video informative, consider backing me on Patreon because just by pledging only $1 a month, you're investing in my ability to continue bringing you amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. So thanks so much again, and we'll see you next time. One, two, three.